Okay, we've got a little test set up here, and we're going to demonstrate uh, what happens when you let your filter get clogged. And so, in this case here, we've got the regulator set at 40 psi, and if you can see the gauge just to the left of the fuel pressure gauge, that's the flow meter, and it's indicating 3.9 liters a minute, which is about 235 liters an hour or so. You follow the routing up, you've got a filter and then another gauge before the filter. And in this case, the fuel pressure is reading almost 80 psi. And the reason it's so much higher here is because that's the obstruction that's in the filter. So the pump is feeding into this and the pump is getting 80 psi of back pressure on it. And then we're losing 40 psi across the filter to eventually make 40 psi on the regulator. Another thing worth noting here is the, right now we're running it at 12 volts and the current is about 13.8 amps. So we're gonna change the filter and you can see we've got a new filter element just above that um, gauge here that I'm showing. And we're, gonna, and we're not gonna change the regulator at all. So we're gonna see how the fuel system, how the pump performs with a clean filter. So back in a sec. All right, this is our filter that we just took out. You can see it's pretty ugly looking. So the first thing to note is what the regulator reads. Remember I said we didn't touch it? We didn't touch it and that's why it's still 40 PSI. But take a look at the flow meter. We're now at 5.3 as opposed to 3.9 before. It's a substantial increase in pump output. And let's go back up and see what our pressure is before the filter. And now we're at about, looks like about 43 PSI, 42 PSI. So now we have about a two or three PSI loss across this filter. And we have much better performance out of our fuel pump and then let's come down and take a look at our current and our current is now 9.8 amps so this pump is drawing substantially less current so it's going to last longer it's not going to wear out as fast it's going to deliver better performance and it's going to make less heat now when this filter gets obstructed again your regulator setting is not going to change. You don't see it. But what's going to happen is, is as the filter becomes obstructed, is this pressure before the filter, in other words, what the pump sees, is going to keep getting higher and higher and higher. And that's what's going to create the damage to your pump and the reduced output. So when you get your car dyno tested or data logged and you think everything's okay with that fresh filter in there, don't think it's gonna stay that way all the time when you have zero maintenance.